I've had this problem in my apartment for a little while, and the problem is this. The television. It's just a little bit too big for the space. First world problem, I know. But it bothers me. I don't like the fact that, th that this object dominates the space. It's, it's great when watching it, but the rest of the time I wish that it would just disappear. Plus, for the way the, the apartment works, it's nice to keep this floor space free so that we can dance around in this space and, and, and get from one part of the apartment to another. And that means that in order to be able to watch the television, we have to take this, this entire case and turn it 90 degrees so it faces towards the couch every time we want to watch it. And I was hoping to find some kind of solution to this, and I searched around for different pieces of furniture and couldn't find anything to buy. So I decided the only solution was to make something. Over the last couple of years, I've built myself a little workshop for making things out of wood in my basement. And I've constructed some of it and I've bought some tools and I've gradually added more and more into it to make it, um, make it possible to build small items. And it's great for building things like this. However, it's just, it's just not really the right size for building any large scale furniture. And worse than that, the entrance to it will simply not allow me to carry any large bits of furniture through. I have this small little door I have to squiggle through to get things in and out. So the only option was to build it in sections and construct it flat pack, like Ikea. So I did as much of the messy work as I could downstairs. And then I carried everything upstairs. And this is what I was left with. Here I am trying to do my first dry run, checking everything fits into place. And for the first time, seeing if the whole thing actually fits together. The next thing to do was to screw all the parts together. So here I am trying to align two different bits and then clamp them together using a clamp. Um, for some reason I decided that it would be best to show my bum to the camera throughout most of this process. I eventually managed to actually get to screwing parts together. This final part I, um, I was only able to hold with my legs, the clamp wouldn't get there. So here I am holding them uh, whilst screwing them together and showing my bum to the camera at the same time. Okay, I've managed to make some significant progress. It's now starting to look like a piece of furniture. Next step, wheels. I ran out of screws, I've got to go buy some more. <laughs> got screws. And I now have something that is like the finished result. Still needs finishing, some varnish on it, some paint on it. I finally managed to finish it and here it is. As you can see, I've added some stain into it and I've also added all of the electrical components. Um, one of the things that I wanted was some, some lighting on the shelves, which can actually change color. And I also wanted to be able to easily plug in uh, my phone and headphones and stuff like that to be able to charge them. So I put in some USB charging ports, but I th thought they were kind of ugly. So I decided to build a little hidden storage space in the bookshelf to hide where all of these cables go. Um, I'm just going to change the color of the lights over here. Um, then to manage all of the all of the cables for all of that stuff, I installed everything inside this cupboard with little magnets to close it. Uh, another cupboard on the other side. I quite like the fact that it looks almost as if it's sitting on the floor, even though. It is, in fact, on wheels. And of course, the best part is that it hides the TV. The television is nowhere to be seen until I decide I want to watch it. 